Hi, in this video we're going to be analyzing four features of the single air wire routing mode. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do is click on the route icon. You'll notice it is on single air wire mode. I'm going to left click. Now we're going to click on an air wire to route. So let's say this one here. Now you'll notice that as we come out of the pad, the work in progress trace, or the one that's actively being manipulated, is in outline mode. As soon as I left click to determine that trace, it solidifies and now the work in progress trace changes and shows the outline mode here. So as we go routing, you'll notice that as segments get completed, they fill in, letting us know that they're completed, whereas whatever is a work in progress is in outline mode. Now this is a default behavior. We've given users complete control over how the work in progress route is displayed. You have this option, or if you don't want any special consideration for the work in progress route, you can go to Options, Set, and make the adjustment there. Additionally, it doesn't necessarily have to be outline mode. You can use the various fill styles that Eagle supports in order to customize the look and feel of the work in progress route to your preferences. So let's look at some of the other features here. You'll notice that right now I'm working with a 45 degree bend style. Now if I right click, I'm going to get the complement bend style. So basically, between a point A and a point B, with 45 degree angles, you have two ways of getting there. So we have the one we're seeing, and if I right click, I get its complement. So you have full control. If you want it to go from the other way, you can just right click and pick the very specific bend that you want. Now if you want to change bend style, so right now I'm sticking to 45s, but if I want to change to another bend style, all I have to do is hold control and right click. And you'll see that we start cycling through the different bend styles. So we have this one, which is a rounded out. If I pick the next one, another rounded style, spline, now we're back to 90 and we're back to 45. So just hold control and right click and you can cycle through the various bend styles. Now another thing that's interesting is that Eagle gives you the ability of a feature similar to AutoCAD's Ortho where you can maintain direction of a line even though your mouse cursor may deviate from it somewhat. So for example you'll notice here it's routing at 45 but if while I'm moving if I hold control, you're going to see it's going to snap. And I can deviate quite a bit from it before it'll snap to the next nearest straight line. So it's like a smart ortho feature. You notice I can, like I said, I can deviate a little bit. I'm going to zoom in so we can see the deviation more pronounced. And it's going to maintain the angle. And that makes it easy to maintain lines over long distances without having to be so perfect with your mouse movements. So and the second you want to return to normal mode, you just let go of the of the control key. So using these tools, you can quickly and effectively get all of your routing tasks done. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day.